<laughs> X player 89. 85. Good to go first. Let's move this in the right position. Dang it, no obelisk. I've been trying out Black Garden because you can use that to get out obelisk, but I'm not really a big fan of it. It just doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Actually, it's fine, it's just I don't like it. Black Garden's dumb. The no obelisk is unaffected by it. I do love how my opponent goes out of their way to take it out, though. Ooh, Constellas. Ugh, I don't think this deck really has anything to stop Constellas. Constellas are all about bouncing cards back and negating spell and traps. They're terrible at hand advantage. Ha! Half attack. Actually, none of them will be able to destroy Duke Frog. Card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 stellar monster from your hand. Is he going to go into the battle phase and attack my tokens? Poor tokens, I never stood a chance. Hmm, deep frog. Ugh. I played frog so many times, I'm not really. I don't know. No, I'm surprised he didn't go into that one card. I guess he doesn't want to have the attack half. He's gonna save up for it. MST to destroy Black Garden. Black Garden screws him over, but not me. Ooh, the Symphony Edition. I can't attack over the Symphony Edition. Symphony Edition. Dijin. Dijin. Like to end your turn. How many decks do I have actually? I know I have a ton. I could go into Sea Lancer, but that would be kind of pointless. Let's set up the Dupe Frog Loop. The Dupe Loop. That means he can't attack any of my monsters. End turn. I remember I was checking my 2008 Yu Gi Oh! World Championship for my DS. That I bought back in 2008 or 2009 or whatever. It was a 2007 when those games came out. I don't know. I checked through it and I was amazed at how I had every single deck list filled out. And that game gives you 120 deck list saves. So even back then, I was crazy about making decks. <laughs> you can't attack Duke Frog. <laughs> I can't believe I made 120 decks back then. Dang. All of them were kind of bad, because that was back before Synchro Monsters. And before I knew the meta game better. Hmm, Nimble Sunfish. Damn, I can't really do anything with this. This is gonna be a really long, boring duel. Until I draw Obelisk. Actually, you know, I could attack with the Rose Token. There's no really good not to. How many decks do I have now, actually? I know I build a new deck every day. Because I love building decks more than I actually like dueling. I actually don't really like dueling. It would be awesome if I could just build a deck and have someone else test them out for me, so I wouldn't have to. Because testing decks is very time consuming. Hmm, I finally drew into an obelisk. Sea Lancer. Hey, hey let's keep the dupe loop. Normal summon out Obelisk the Tormentor by tributing these three cards. Cool thing about Black Garden is you can use its effect to special summon out Nimble Manta if you ever want to do that. I don't know why you would though, that would be kind of crazy. Enter the battle phase. Obelisk the Tormentor, obliterate. How many decks do I have? Remember before this game was actually, before I had to update, I had a Wrapped ton of deck lists saved. And on this one, I have a huge ass long line to the point where I cannot choose one before my opponent will just leave. I have so many. I'm pretty sure I have like those 15 from when I built the 
those decks for the OTK video forever ago. I think I spent like all day, one day, making that video. Since I woke up till like 8 o'clock at night. Maybe about 9 hours on that video. <laughs> See? <laughs> MST to destroy Black Garden. People just hate Black Garden. I don't know why it's such a fun card. It's so much fun. It's normal summon out a nimble sunfish so I can get another target for Obelisk. They have a torrental tribute, because that would blow up my field. And allow me to search out two swap frogs. Plus I've got the dupe loop. The dupe loop. I don't think it protects symbol sunfish though. The dupe loops. What is it? There's those 15 from that one video. And then I have uh, about 10 different versions of Gear Town. I love that deck. It has been ruled officially that Kuraz, the Light Monarch's draw effect, happened simultaneously, so it does not, in fact, allow Gear Town to miss timing. Which is what many people on Reddit argued about when I was so gracious to share that deck with them. The Yu-Gi-Oh! community on Reddit is terrible. It's just full of a ton of very cynical people who will... Um argue every single minuscule point of your deck, even when you do prove them wrong about everything. But that was just the three times I decided to post decks up there. I need to summon another monster. I could use a Vect Vealer to bring out Chaos Bird. Did he finally draw into a Oh, you finally got rid of my Black Garden. Oh no, my Black Garden! Wait, does this effect activate? Um, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. Oh, it does have that. Nice! I'm not gonna use it for that, but... That is nice. No. Oh shit, I drew it. Damn it. I'm supposed to set that guy face down. Ooh. That's bad. That's very bad. What? I can still... Um, I could bring out that one card, but... I don't see the point in that. With all those face-down cards. Battle phase. Obelisk the Tormentor. Because even when this guy's effect is negated, you can still remove battle... I mean, those stupid things from him. Just means my Miss Bird's gonna die in the next turn and he gets to keep his stupid Symphony Dijin. Oh, I guess not. Attack, Miss Bird Colossus. With your zero attack because I put you in an attack position by accident. Oh, he's not gonna do anything. Okay. That's cool, yo. That's cool, broski. Reborn frog to the grave, and end my turn. A dark Pole can kill Obelisk, a Torrental Tribute can kill him, and anything else that doesn't target, like Dual Dragon Archer Fiend. That card is so awesome. Constellar Sunday. Or if he has Honest, because his whole deck is all about light type monsters. But with Mistbird Colossus, that I stupidly put in attack mode to make his attack zero. Hmm, plus I still have my dupe loop up. Means he can't attack me even if he does get rid of Obelisk. But if he was gonna get rid of Obelisk, he'd have to destroy all the monsters in the field, so. Actually, Skill Drain works too, but Skill Drain is counterintuitive to Constellar, so he probably doesn't have that. Constellar. Hell, Geot. Oh, another thing about the Yu-Gi-Oh! community on Reddit. If you post anything but a deck list, they will downvote the hell out of your video. I mean, your thing, and 
is talk crap about you submitting shitty content. I can't believe how bad they are. It's like so bad, because like all the anime things I'm part of too, they're all so nice about everything, but Yu-Gi-Oh! one is just full of cynical people. Yeah, that's enough about that. This deck, uh, I guess this Black Guardian's really good because he just didn't do anything. Stellars aren't half bad. But then again, it's all about Obelisk because Obelisk is pretty good. 